So um, regarding my third rape uh, by a man named Kalle Lady Brandt, a Norwegian fellow living in Sweden in Bredeng, suburb of Stockholm, um, after I reported it to his friends, keeping it internal, a few months later when I was out of that country, um, he put on his Facebook to like some kind of pistol or big, chunky, yucky, ugly gun type things. And I took that as a bit of a like, you're not allowed to talk about my rape kind of a, a thing. But um, I was... Um, couch surfing, traveling in Sweden, and not couch surfing actually, but I had sort of broken up with my Swedish boyfriend and, uh, or he dumped me rather, but um, I was desperate for somewhere to, some way to save money and not afford a hotel. And my girlfriend Frida said, oh, go stay at Kali's house. They have so many roommates and so many rooms and you're going to love it over there. It's so creative and wonderful. So I'm over there and he's begging, I'm, <laughs> stupidly thinking he's hopefully cool he seems such a nerd and he's not my type and he's young younger than me he's like I don't know if he's like 23 or 4 or something like that but um I stupidly thought like we could talk and talk and talk and we had this complete he's Asperger's and we had this complete mental connection and we were lying down to sleep and he was begging to have sex with me and I was no, 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 no. Reason why no, reason why no, 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 no. And then he rapes. And the, I guess the plus side to this little rape was he was one of those uh, coming, coming immediately gross rapists. So there wasn't much like huge damage to my vagina or something, but, and he was, had a very small penis. <laughs> Small penis rapists. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so um, I went to the bathroom to wash myself. There was snow on the ground still. There were no train service. I mean, I didn't know. I just basically cleaned myself as best I could to prevent pregnancy. Or I didn't think I was ovulating, but I... went about my existence and eventually got home to New York City <laughs> after the death of Osama bin Laden. I, and I was there in New York City the day that Obama was dropping down to talk about that. For some reason, even though there was a terrible tornado I flew through, it seemed like the signal to come home for some reason in my mind. I don't know why. Maybe because of Neil being my cousin, I don't know why I felt um, so moved by that, or at the end of my rope, I guess.